Hi, Wesley. It's an interesting discussion point about Phoenix since Wesley's return. He starts strongly here with a, with a nice tip them in the contest. Last time these two sides met in round 12. Tate goes to work this time inside. He is so composed when he's got the ball, whether he's got it in the low post or at the high post. Come off when Bogus starts to retreat, pull up for that mid range and just try and make sure that you get the best one possible. And down goes another one from Bogut. Trail by six. Robertson steps back, takes the shot and makes it. So his hot hand has returned and that's a welcome news. Dependent on that mid pick and roll. We saw against the Wildcats a number of no a couple of nights ago that they only had four or five assists up to half time. Great finish by Brad Neal. Casper thought about. Good pass. Tate for another. He's got the touch at the moment. Taylor right in his face. He does get that shot. The right lunch on from Taylor couldn't stop him. So he drains a three. Casper Ware still on just two points. That can all change just like that. From as far out as you'd want to have a shot. Himself ticking over to 20 points. Look at this. A good six feet beyond the three-point line. Just stepped in. Good rhythm. He's, uh, he's shown that his ability to score the basketball in the NBA now for a few years. Next three more points. Sydney get to the half century before the major break. Robertson back at you. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. This, this could be special tonight. To 50. Let's have a look at some of these magic shots from outside. In scoring positions to uh, provide a pressure outlet. Gee, Wesley gave himself a tough shot at the other end. There's a good take, though, from Mitch Creek. Let's see if they can make the most of it. Imagine, oh, gets a bit of help to lay in the two. How a half can suddenly change the way a game is played. Almost couldn't miss for a while in the first half from outside. And suddenly the Phoenix are on a run there. Great job by Taylor just riding on the hip and not fouling him, but also not giving him the easy one. And a great throw off to Xavier Cooks, who has been a bit quiet so far. Really elite defenders, but he seems to be one. Add them. Oh, mixed Good it up finish. that time. Great finish. Oh, mini Falcon on Daniel Kickett's head. Zada, who is waiting there on the outside. Tate decides to go in alone, and that's why. Twisting and turning. Did his players and said, keep Diddy off the rim. He knows that he wants to put his head down and get there and just get a hand up on Casper Ware. That was a lucky shot, but we've got to get there early. Can't go, great spot. Lozada can put that one down. Oh, he, he, didn't, he didn't give any extras on that one, just put it down. No, it. Not be happy with that. No coach ever is when you're shooting the ball at, at the front of the rim down one end and no. One player off the bench for the Phoenix who scored, and that's Kyle Adnam. Whereas we talk about the depth of the Kings. We talk about depth, but they've still got their superstars as well. Castleware is now four of nine from the three. That mid range. Cooks. Played the patient game and played it well. It's a little lost. It's happened a few times today. And again, they lose control of the ball. Bruce quickly turns defense into offense in the most delightful way. Connecting with Tate. Mashed today by New Zealand and their percentage took a hit. 90 to 68. United's lowest score of the season. Was Another little log pass by Sean Bruce. Five three-pointers from 11. That's where it looks like it'll stay. Kings will see out the last couple of seconds. Walker. Oh, wasn't far off the Hail Mary. And that's what it is now for the Phoenix in terms of playing final.